welcome to my video today I will discuss about tornadoes so what is a tornado is a violent rotating column of air extending from a thunderstorm to the ground the most violent tornadoes are capable of tremendous destruction with wind spins of up to 300 miles per hour they can destroy large buildings upper trees and hurl vehicles hundreds of yards. They can also drive through into trees. Damage path can be in excess of one mile wide to if there are one thousand tornadoes are reported wide. So we know about what is tornadoes. So how tornadoes form? Tornadoes from thunderstorms. You need warm air, cool air. When these air masses meet, they create instability in the atmosphere. In direction and an increase in spin, with increasing high creates an invisible horizontal spinning effect in the lower atmosphere. Rising air within the updraft tells that rotating air from horizontal to vertical. An area of rotation six miles wide now extends through much of the storm. Most strong and violent tornadoes from within this area of strong rotation. What are some other factors for tornado form? Several conditions for the development of tornadoes in the thunderstorm clouds, which mass tornadoes are associated. Abundant level moisture is necessary to continue to the development of a thunderstorm, and a trigger is needed to lift the moist air aloft. Once the air begins, saturated it will continue rising to great heights to produce a thunderstorm clouds if the atmosphere is unstable an unstable atmosphere where the temperature decreases rapidly with height atmospheric instability can also occur when dry air overlays moist air near the earth's surface finally Tornadoes usually form in areas where winds at all levels of the atmosphere are not only strong, but clockwise or veering direction, or just like a rope if you observe. What do tornadoes look like? Tornadoes can appear as a traditional funnel shape or in a slender rope like form. Some have a churning, smoky look to them and other multiple vortices, which are small, individual tornadoes rotating around a common center. Even others may be nearly invisible. Ground levels as the only indications of the tornado's presence. What is a funnel cloud? A funnel cloud is a rotating cone-shaped column of air extending downward from the from the base of a thunderstorm, but not touching the ground. When it reaches the ground, it is called a tornado. What is a supercell thunderstorm? A supercell thunderstorm is a long-lived thunderstorm whose updrafts and downdrafts are near balance. 
these storms have the greatest tendency to produce tornadoes that stay on the ground for long periods of time. Supercell thunderstorms can produce violent tornadoes with winds exceeding 200 miles per hour. So what is a wall cloud? A wall cloud is an up lowering of a rain-free cumulonimbus base into a low-hanging accessory cloud. A wall cloud is usually situated in a southwest portion of the storm. A rotating wall cloud usually develops before tornadoes or funnel clouds. What is a water spout? A water spout is a weak tornado that forms over water. They are most common along the Gulf. Water spout can sometimes move inland, becoming tornadoes causing damage and injuries. <music> tornado safety tips. Before a tornado, have a disaster plan. Make sure everyone knows where to go in case a tornado threatens. Make sure you know which country or parish you live in. Prepare a kit with emergency food for your home. Have enough food and water for at least 3 days. And that's all. Thank you for watching my videos. Bye-bye.